In this video, we are going to solve a previous gate problem related to damping of the system. You can see the problem here if the characteristic equation of a closed loop system is s square plus 2s plus 2 is equal to 0, then the system is over damped system, critically damped system, under damped system or undamped system. So, how we can determine the system damping means according to the value of damping ratio zeta. So, we can determine the system damping that means whether that is under damped, undamped or over damped or critically damped that can be determined by the damping ratio zeta. Then how we can determine the damping ratio zeta means by comparing the characteristic equation with the given characteristic equation we can determine the damping ratio zeta. The for general second order system the denominator characteristic equation will be s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square is equal to 0. This is the general characteristic equation of a control system, second order system. So, now given characteristic equation is s square plus 2s plus 2, I am just comparing this equation with the fundamental equation. Our requirement is to get zeta, so that is why I am going to compare the s terms. So, 2 zeta omega n is equal to 2, 2, 2 is going to cancel. So, here zeta omega n is equal to 0. So, zeta omega n is not 0, zeta omega n is equal to 1 after cancelling 2 with 2, zeta omega n is equal to 1, zeta is equal to 1 by omega n. We do not know the value of omega n. So, that is why I am going to compare omega n square is equal to 2, omega n square is equal to 2, omega n is equal to root 2 1.414. So, now zeta is equal to 1 by in place of omega n I am writing 1.414, this is less than 1. 1.414 is equal to 0 0.707 like that. 0 0.707 is in between 0 and 1. So, always you need to write the system damping like this. If zeta is equal to 0 that is undamped system. If zeta is equal to 1 that is critically damped system. If zeta greater than 1 that is over damped system. If zeta is in between 0 less than zeta less than 1 that means if zeta damping ratio is in between 0 and 1 then we can say that is under damping. So, under damped system. So, here if you observe the value of zeta this zeta is equal to 0 0.707 this is not equal to 1 this is not greater than 1 this is not equal to 0. So, the exact condition of zeta is in between 0 and 1. So, the value of 0 0.707 will lie in between 0 and 1. So, it will satisfy this condition. So, we can say our system is under a damped system. So, under a damped system this is the right option. C option will be the right option for this problem. What we need to do is if they given characteristic equation then we need to consider the characteristic equation or denominator of system transfer function, loop, system loop transfer function of control system. So, that will be like this. So, we need to compare with given equation. After comparing, we need to get the zeta value. So, after getting zeta value, zeta value itself it will define which type of damping system that is according to our data, according to our zeta value, our system is under damped system.